Hello fellow sewists and sewing enthusiasts. Have you ever had a project that you really wanted to love? You really wanted to work out the way you planned and it just didn't. That was this dress for me. I really, really wanted it to work. I wanted to like it, and I just don't. It just doesn't do what I wanted it to do. Now, the fault is entirely mine. I chose the exact wrong fabric <laughs> to make this dress. The fabric I chose, I actually got in a costuber stash swap back in August of 2020 and I never posted the video about it because I wanted to be able to show what I made from the fabric before I finished the video so that never happened and I did shoot a fair amount of footage while I was working on this dress and when I went to edit it recently I was having a really hard time motivating myself to work on the video and I realized it's because I'm just not happy with the dress. So I didn't want to work on the video for the thing I was unhappy about. So I was talking it over with my husband and explaining why I was struggling with this so much and he suggested that I make a video about how I don't like it. <laughs> so that's, uh, that's why we're here. Now, you can probably tell, because of the uh, girth of the waist, that this is a maternity dress. I made it while I was pregnant from a vintage maternity pattern. And I was really excited about the project in the beginning. I had lots of plans to make an entire vintage maternity wardrobe, and those plans did not come to fruition for a number of reasons. The main one being that I lost the patterns for the bulk of my pregnancy. I found them again about a month and a half before I was due to give birth. This was the only pattern that I could find during that time. And it's not the one I was the most excited to work on. Also, I realized by the time I actually started working on it that it's a summer pattern and I needed winter wear since I was due in February and the latter half of my pregnancy was all going to be during the cold. And that's why I chose the worsted wool fabric to hopefully have a warm winter dress even though it's sleeveless. The way I planned to get around that was to make a long sleeve blouse that would coordinate and I could wear underneath. I have yet to finish the blouse. So that's a whole other thing. <laughs> but yeah, I really I struggled from the beginning with making this because the very first step is making bound buttonholes, which I had never done before. And now that I've tried it in worsted wool, I know that that's absolutely the wrong fabric. It's very springy. It doesn't hold a crease. You need a fabric that holds a crease <laughs> to make bound buttonholes. I didn't know that then, but I know now. So that was a struggle because there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine buttonholes on this thing. And once I'd committed to making bound buttonholes, I had to follow through. Um, I really love the buttons I chose and I like them a lot with this fabric. So I struggled through, I made the buttonholes, the rest of the dress wasn't super hard to make, but then when I tried it on, I found that the shoulders looked completely wrong, even with rather thick shoulder pads that I stuffed in here. They just don't look right. It doesn't look like the 1940s silhouette. Now this dress, on the other hand, 
I made also from wool, but a much stiffer material. This is very drapey. It's perfect wool suiting. It would be great for pants. Great for pants. But um, this one I made from a vintage reprint pattern. And actually some vintage wool that was in my grandmother's sewing stash from probably the 60s or 70s. And it might not be entirely wool. In, in fact, it's probably it's probably not 100% wool. But I don't have shoulder pads on. This the fabric is just is just doing that. It's nice and structured. What? Well, whereas this is not. <sighs> I also don't think that the color is super flattering on me. Um. Once again, it would have been fine for pants, but up near my face, it's just not not great. And I didn't like the neckline. I wanted it to fold open like this, and it just won't stay, because once again, this doesn't hold a crease. So, yeah. I did try it on, um, and I filmed a whole get ready with me video when I was like nine months pregnant while wearing this, and I tried really hard while shooting the video to not show how much I disliked how it looked on me. I really felt like a baked potato, not in a good way, and I was hoping that the um, extremely unflattering aspect of this dress was simply because I was pregnant and nothing's really gonna be flattering. So I tried my best. I put a belt on it, tried to make it look cute, and did, you know, the vintage hair and makeup and all of that. And it just wasn't working for me, but oh well. I figured because it buttons up the front and has, you know, the darts and can obviously come in more at the waist that I could still wear it postpartum and have it as a nursing outfit, but I don't think I ever wore it <laughs> while nursing, um, because I just, I still wasn't feeling it. I did throw it on a couple months ago because it does have pockets, like, there are good aspects of this dress. It is comfortable. I just don't like how it looks. <laughs> I wish I did. Actually, here's some video footage I took of me trying, trying to make it work. Trying real hard to like this dress. And like even with the hair, vintage styling was not doing it for me. Also all of my historical and vintage shoes are packed away. So I went with a more modern styling this time. And honestly, I don't hate it. Kind of got a adventuring vibe happening. I wish I had a brown hat. My only brown hat is a cloche and that's just not the right, not the right look, at least for this hair. Anyway. Feeling um, less like a potato than when I was very heavily pregnant and wore this last. It's, uh, it's not bad. So all in all, I really don't think it was the fault of the pattern. I would love to make this pattern again in maybe a cotton. Something that will give me the nice crisp shoulders that it's supposed to have and that the bound buttonholes won't be a complete nightmare. And I don't know. I've had thoughts of remaking this, doing something different with the bodice while trying to save the whole front because I did work really hard on these bound buttonholes and I'm very proud of how they turned out despite the struggles. So I don't know. I might, I might try to rescue it, but I might just take the buttons off and use them for something else. <sighs> I mean, 
mean I tried. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a like, and if you would like to see more, definitely subscribe. I usually have much better results than this when sewing. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye.